Hey everyone, today I'm working on 05 VW GTI. This one came in with the ignition messed up. The key was just turning in the ignition, so I'm just replacing it for them. Usually a screwdriver, a lot of people say jam a screwdriver up in there, but on these they usually don't work. It has a like a clutch uh, action on the inside and it just sits there and spin. Now, there you've got a couple different options. You can go to the Savage Yard and get a whole lock assembly um, as long as you get the key with it. You don't have to have the remote because you'll be using your original remote for the security of it. If you look at your remote, right there by my thumb there's a pin that holds your key in there. You can take that pin out, slide your key off, and then take the Savage Yard's key and slide it back into your remote. That way the key that they give you works inside of the new ignition and then your then your key fob will work with your car. Now the downside of that is, is that you have to keep your second key that you pulled out of your remote because now you need that to open up the door. Now if you have two different uh, keys, like a spare key with a remote, then um, it, it works pretty good you know, to just hang on to it. Or you may put the uh, key, uh, your old key in the remote that the Savage Yard gave you uh, and then use that to open up the door, unlock the door, and open up the trunk lid. That's the downfall using the salvage yard piece. Now you can go to the dealership and get this replaced, or you can go there and order it, and you can do it yourself. Um, my local dealership told me it'd probably be two to three hundred dollars, and they replace this whole assembly, so they give you a brand new lock assembly also, and then they send it off, and or or VW sends them a key that's already matched to your car and you don't have to program it because you're using your remote um, they do require your title for proof of ownership to do that so you got a couple of different options there now how do you get this lock cylinder out um, you'll take the upper and lower cover off um, you'll take your tilt screws um, there's you know quite a few screws that you're going to take out in order to access this once you take it off you'll see this up underneath there now the factory uses um, break off screws like this to hang on to it and i'll show you right here they're right down in there there's one that sits right there and one that sits right there now how do you get those out all you got to do is take a screwdriver like this and you get your hammer and you go to the edge of that bolt and you'll hit it. Now you're going to have to hit it quite hard to notch it to get a bite and get that to screw screw off. Now I've already taken this one off so it's already loose but you just want to go to the very edge or you can use a punch or something like that and you'll hit this to turn it off. Now once you get it loose you should be able to turn it off with your finger, like you should be able to get your finger up in there and go ahead and spin it. Then you'll do that same thing to the opposite side. You'll use a punch or screwdriver to punch that out to get the assembly off. Once you get that loose, you can take your plugs out. This is the security, um, for, for the security system right here. You just push down on the tab and it pulls out. That's what's connected on the side right here. And then the opposite side is just a, a plug that pulls off so you'll have this whole assembly it's really not too hard to do um, but you do have a couple of different options to replace it uh, the salvage yard uh, option of course again you'll have two two uh, keys one for the door one for the ignition or you can spend you know two to three times more money to go ahead and get a new ignition from the dealership but anyway, um, I hope my, my uh, video helped you out today. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.